Hi, in this video, we're going to learn how we can use pseudocode to plan our programs and comments to make them more readable. Let's go. It is important to plan our programs before we dive into coding. As our problems get more complex, it will become more and more helpful to take a moment to plan our programs out before using computer syntax. We are basically writing a roadmap to make sure that our plan for tackling the problem is successful and efficient. Think of the task of driving to a new supermarket. If you've never been there before, and you just get in the car and start driving, you might make it all the way there, but it may not have been the most efficient route. But if you take a few minutes to plan out directions before you get in the car, you'll make sure that your route is direct and successful. We use pseudocode to write out the steps of a problem in English before translating them into a code that the computer will understand. Let's take a look at what pseudocode actually looks like and how to use it to plan a program. Let's say our task was to blink the middle LED on our micro bit every half a second forever. Our pseudocode might look something like this, where we are breaking the problem into steps, but just writing every step in plain English. We can then use our pseudocode to easily translate our program into JavaScript or whatever programming language we're using. Including the pseudocode steps ensures that we have fully thought out all parts of the problem and limits the amount of bugs that enter our programs. This pseudocode can be entered into our programs as comments, which are phrases we write in plain English to give more information about the decisions we made while programming. This might seem a little unnecessary now, but as we develop larger and more complicated programs, following these guidelines will greatly reduce the amount of time you spend coding and debugging. Let's look at how comments are written in JavaScript. There are two types of comments we can write in JavaScript, an inline comment and a multi-line comment. Inline comments can be used throughout your code, placed anywhere you think would be helpful to record information. To write an inline comment, start the line with two forward slashes and then type your comment next to it. All the text in the comment should turn green. This is the computer's way of letting you know that it recognizes your comment and will not perform anything written here. Multi-line comments should be used at the beginning of your code to describe the problem that the code is solving. To write a multi-line comment, we type a forward slash and an asterisk and then start our comment on the next line. Underneath the last line of your comment, type an asterisk and a forward slash to end the comment and tell the computer that it should read the commands beneath this line. All the text between these marks will turn green to indicate that the computer recognizes you are writing a multi-line comment. Comments are also very helpful when debugging our programs. As our programs get longer and more complex, they will perform multiple actions. To help isolate the part of the program that is causing the problem, we can put different parts of our program inside comments so only the uncommented out lines will run. Let's take a look at how we can do this. Here we have a program that we wrote as an extension of the blinking first letter program. We want to blink the text MEG, and we wrote all of our commands that we need in order to do this. Now let's see if this works. Hmm, so my E looks like it's having some trouble. So instead of running the entire code, I can look just at the part of my code that's causing the issue. So I'm going to comment out everything. See all of this turns green, so the letter M is commented out. This is going to make the letter E, and I want the letter E to stay on. So I'm going to comment out everything after it, and it's really important to make sure that I open and close all of these so that the needed curly bracket and parenthesis at the end is still there, unless we'll get an error. So let's see it now. Okay, so I can see clearly that that Letter E is a little bit uh, messed up, so I can look specifically at only these uh, commands in my program, and I can see that maybe I switched the numbers here, and let's see if that fixes my program. Perfect. So just looking at the one part of the program when my program is really long and complex will help me to be able to just focus on what I need to look at in order to fix it and make it work. That's why comments are really helpful when debugging. So if I want, I can now 
remove all of the comments that I wrote and my program now should run correctly. So I have M E. Oh, but now since I wrote those new LEDs, I switched when I turned my LED, my letter E on, but I never switched when I turned it off. So this can help find all of the issues. Commenting different lines out will help you make sure that your program works as intended. Now let's use our knowledge of pseudocode and comments to plan and develop more programs.